Good morning. So today, um, I think it's time to finish off a few API tests. Um, that's that's the branch I'm in at the moment in my little project. Um, yesterday we uh, did a little bit of work to make sure Go Monitor could add measurements to the goals. Um, just with this super secret boot. Um, but now I need to start doing a little bit of validation work. Um, I'm not sure how much I've actually got in the API endpoint. So for example, um, I need to make sure that this can't be um, like a string or something, I guess, because um, I guess it can be passed in like that. Yeah, it's going to be difficult in here, but the API could actually potentially take it. Um, so we need to just make sure that, that doesn't have a problem. We have a date here as well. Um, we always expect a date. We always expect some value. Um, notes are optional. So I need to make sure at least, very least, even if the API strips out any non-numerics, um, I need to make sure that uh, these are required values are there in the API. So I need some failure tests um, to see, to make sure that um, an appropriate error is returned. So um, let's get rid of all these from the ID. I'll just close off the client here. This is all going to be server stuff. So in add measurement, don't do much in the way of validation at the moment. We have, see we validate a token. Um, we make sure that the date is a up to just the day, um, so we get rid of any minutes and stuff like that. Um, and we do oh, okay, yeah. The other thing is uh, the date should not be in the future, so that's an easy thing to quickly test. That should definitely be something we can um, make sure. It's been uh, returned as an error. Uh, but otherwise, we're not really doing anything with the values, which is also the same in the goal, actually. So we might need to beef up our goals. So the create measurement, it's just passing through. I mean, the good thing is that most of this stuff is um, typed and Golang will sort of fill in with default values. So most of the time we're just going to get like values that don't make any sense and not actual problematic values, but it'd be nice to do the right thing. Okay. So Let's do some testing. Right, we've got got a test add measurement. Uh, we've got a test of edit goal. Now we've got some failure ones. So they add goal, failure mode tests. Fairly, fairly simple.
so we should be able to do similar things, basically just not passing in enough information and so on. Just thinking maybe I should have been testing also here. Um, what happens when neither of these are supplied? Well, maybe that's something we can do in add measurement and then um, go back and fill in on those as well. Okay. Right. Um, what we've got here. We could keep the gun gap, be repeating this stuff over and over again. We'll just start off with them. Um, to the end, I think. Take a copy of it. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll strip out a lot of this stuff. So we never, what we're going to do is the test is going to be um, Let's start with let's start from nothing. Yeah. So we run this now. The um, it's still set up to be a successful ad measurement, and it should fail. Take a while, I 
Fibonacci. We'll slowly get to nothing. Okay. Goal ID not supplied. That's good. I'm glad we get that. So, what I'll do right, let's just take it all out and then I'll just start grabbing it from um, from the previous one as I need it. I wonder if that will work. Uh, expectations were met if I have no expectations. I wonder if it will complain that there are no expectations. Um, yeah, I'll keep that in for that. So at the moment, um, so what was that error? What I'm basically looking for is this. So I am going to point actually is not showing the thing I expect there. Take them out. Uncomment that. And then I'm expecting. Am I expecting that? Uh, I think the problem is it's not handling the error. Let's see if we get that up. Yeah, it's actually erroring out earlier, I think. Goal ID not supplied. So I wonder if that's... Let's see what we've actually got. handling the error. Is that right?
I'm a little confused there. That probably means on any area that I've been dropping the server. Which is fine because I'm restarting it in my service. But not ideal. It'd be better if it just handled it. So problem here is what do I do? Hmm. Do I just use well, I don't want to panic. Don't want a fatal. I think I need to look at the package, see what's going on there, see what I should be doing. Hmm. Or do I just need to? See, that's actually a good thing to do. If it if it falls out, then I do need to log it and go. So it's the it is the it's the functions I need to deal with. That's what I should be doing, adding in an error. Okay. Although that's odd and that is generated automatically. I think I'm overthinking this. Right, okay. Let's double check what's going on here. So if I let's let's do it differently. Um, and we'll see what happens. I might have been handling errors incorrectly. 
I might need to double check what goes on with Lotto there. Yeah, I'm not sure this is the right way of doing it, but I'm just going to give it a go for a sec. Just get me. see what that does because it's, it's not what I want to do but no I think I'm missing something. I think I need more coffee. Okay. I don't need to do this. Okay. I should be able to handle the error. I think the problem is the way that I am trapping here. I wonder. I'll just take this up here for a sec. So that's failed. It's doing an exit. Might have to change a few things.
that's interesting. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's nuts. All right. That's why I still got log fatals in here. Oh man. Okay. Definitely need more coffee. All right. Okay. All right. So, we definitely need one of them, because we are expecting it, but not there. I want to see whether these do the things I expect them to do. But I do need to get there somehow, so I guess if I do if I just return the error, I guess stop fatal error. In. I basically just need to do, is it not doing that? I need to set my keystrokes on here. Um, I just need to do an error is new instead of doing a fatal. do that. Okay. Why? Anyway, uh, so here again. Okay, how do I... Guess I need to... Can I do... Is there a version that just does print line type syntax? That'd be nice. No. So, uh. oh, hold on. Don't think I need to get all fancy here, do I? Can I do, is it plus? 
Yeah. We'll see what that does. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so we are no longer fatal login. We're going to return an error message if there's no goal ID. And if the member ID does not match, sorry, no. If this query returns nothing or whatever. Otherwise, it should be returned in the member ID. And I expect it to come back, return an error, and we should be good for this test. But I want to see what's logged. Um, We're not expecting any SQL at the moment because we're not passing in an error, a so called ID. So it shouldn't even get to the SQL. Is that correct? Because it's the first thing, isn't it? Yeah. And then in theory, we just get the status internal error. And then I'll do a check for the string in a minute. Okay. See how far we've got. Pass. Okay, good. Yeah, now we're getting what we expect an error. Which I can grab. Good stuff. Okay. All right. We got there in the end. How many other bay tools have I got in this thing? One, two, three, four, five. Was that it? Lots. Okay, let's get rid of all these. Because that's going to be a nightmare. I don't need to be doing that. So.
Not sure whether this will work on this one, but give it a go. Loads of them. Yeah. Lesson learned. Uh, I should have uh, recorded a macro for some of this, I think. Uh, but we wouldn't have worked because they're all different formats. Easier just to quickly get them all done. Well, I wonder what's going to happen with all the. Um, all the tests it'll be interesting to see whether they uh they still work should do i think it might get one well in theory these have all been not tested so um which is true because a lot of this stuff like the check password and stuff it hasn't been properly tested yet so i do need to test at some point Can we have any more loads? It's interesting that formatting thing where Messages should not be capitalized. Wonder how I uh, how I should be phrasing the errors. I have to look that up. Might need to change the format and to make it more. Go correct. Okay.
some of these are kind of more internal stuff, but I don't really want the server to die. It'd be better if it did return an error. Um, this, I think my original theory was if I'm getting proper database errors, then uh, I should really be like dropping the server and uh, sorting out the error. But that's not really going to fly when you're, you've got an actual service up and running. don't really want that. You just want to know about the errors. So this is probably for the best. Keep the server up, but uh, let people tell you about it. So what's this one? Same deal, really. So, yeah, I could probably just do that. Maybe change the word in slightly so I know it's different. Let's say, um, It's such an internal thing. I'll make it obvious that it's like wrong. Um, there you go. Not user friendly, but at least um, someone will go, what the is that? Same again. That's what I said, wasn't it? for fate tools. Oh, that was the last one. That's good. Shall we double check that? Uh, fate Definitely. Okay. Well, that was a bunch of changes that I didn't expect to do. Let's see uh, whether anything's changed in the test from that. Nope. Good. <laughs> Didn't expect it to. Okay, so. Where's the time? Okay. I need to wrap up in a minute. So I will. Let's just finish off this like very skinny test. Let's do uh, 
Let's do one where we pass in the wrong member ID. So I think we'll do the same again. Clean out all the things and we will That was a goal idea, isn't it? Okay. Let's take, do that. I'm gonna take these two. Stick them at the top because we're going to use them over and over again. Um, okay, that'll be actually, it'll be that I want to use. So I'm going to get to here and I'm going to put member ID instead just for funsies because it's inaccurate. Okay, let's put uh, this test is going to be no values supplied, and here we'll do. Test invalid goal ID supplied. Uh, as I'm passing the member ID, that should definitely be the case. And then we're gonna right. So this will fail just now. Fail the test will fail the fail. Uh, because it should get to the point of doing an SQL query and I've not put an, uh, an expectation in there yet. So this should fail just now. Now we're getting goals member ID, goal ID not supplied. What? Oh, not true. Yeah. Oh, I didn't have any expectations, so the expectations were met. Okay, I need to be careful about that. Huh. Okay, so yeah need to put in the expectation that we did do a query there. So let's go grab format the add measurement. I want this and Actually, I'm expecting an error. So. Don't need any rows. So this will actually be with args 
member ID. So I do expect it to ask about that. And I do expect it to come back with an error. And where's the not found? Let's go find, I must have one of them. Do I not? Oh, I must have on the login failure. Let's go on no errors. Okay. No, sorry, error, no errors. Mm. Right. Trying to do this a bit quick. So I'm getting close to wrap up time. So I'm expecting a no, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, no rose because that goal ID is actually a member ID, and then we should, in theory. Um, yeah, we're going to get something like that, but I want to see what the actual error is. That'd be interesting. But, uh, okay, so. Just put this for the moment. Because in theory, that should all pass now. Didn't? Why did it not? Hmm. Let's quickly take that out then. And see what the error is. Log time.
Right, okay, now we'll get somewhere. We're getting goals, member ID. So does it have to be the full thing? That's not a contains. That's an equals, not a contains. Okay, well, whatevs. It does the job. Oh, I thought I just took that out. Oh, didn't say that. Okay. Right, gotta go. So um quickly commit that. <laughs> Okay, well that's good. Uh, it was good to remove all those uh, log uh, fatal errors um, and just get started on the uh, test of the ad measurement failures. So, right, gotta go. Um, so until next time, take care.